I'm more a shower person, but to be honest, I cannot wait to use this bathtub. This is definitely more luxury that we usually show in this channel, so you might be wondering, where are we? This incredible tree house, I mean tree castle, in the southern part of New York is probably one of the most unique tree houses in the US. This is going to be our home for the next 24 hours. Okay, I think this outdoor bathroom might be our new favorite one. Make sure you stick around to see our experience in this unique home and for a full tour. Welcome. <sighs> kind of hurt my back. <laughs> We left Maine yesterday and to our surprise, all the hotels in Connecticut were sold out. So we had to drive all the way up to New York, which ended us up here. We're gonna keep going with our road trip, but first we need to stop at the grocery store to get stuff for dinner and most importantly, toothpaste. <laughs> Please. We haven't brushed our teeth since yesterday. It's a little nasty. We're looking for cornstarch. This is cornstarch. That, that's cornmeal. It's not the same. Is cornmeal and cornstarch the same? If you have been following us for a while now, you probably know that we love staying in unique places. Like the one we sit in Oregon, the sheep wagon. The cabana in Mexico with no walls. And the one that we just recently yeah, stayed. Stay on Pila Puta! <laughs> and the one that we recently stayed in that was located on the island in Panama. We've always wanted to stay in a tree house, but we never really got the chance to do that. But today, we were lucky enough to find one. Alright, the tree house. That way. Hey. We've waited for like five years. This is a big one. <gasps> this is kind of huge. Oh, wow. It's always my dream to have a tree house when I was a child <laughs> that I never pictured anything like this. I think that was every kid's dream. We're gonna live our childhood fantasy. Yeah, <laughs> we're kind of old. I think this is gonna be my favorite thing of the house. Before we give you a tour, I wanted to share with you some background info on this place that was constructed in New York. The owner Dan is the one who not only designed this tree castle, but built it with his own hands. He did have some help from his family and friends. It all started on May 4th, 2020 with this design, which then turned into this. At the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic, he started the build and he called it his quarantine project. For me, my quarantine project was just trying to survive, so kudos to him. He estimates that there is over 20,000 pounds of materials involved in the build supported by this tree in uprights, which is similar to the weight of a school bus. Now we're gonna give you a full tour of this tree castle. First you have a spiral staircase. You're a little clumsy, so we gotta be careful with that. Yeah, okay, you have to be careful. We have some outdoor seating to watch the sunrise, the sunset. This bright yellow, oh, it's not yellow. <laughs> this, this bright orange door. I like it. Take off the shoes. Oh, my socks are a little dirty. Welcome. So you walk in, you're straight into the kitchen. He baked us a fresh loaf of bread. You'll see throughout the house that a lot of it is with bees. So he also gave us some honey from his bees out here. It was something that we saw on the Instagram page from the tree castle is that they electrocuted the wood to make these really cool designs, which I didn't know you could electrocute wood. You come over, you have your bar stools, which I can do for Bernardo when he's cooking. Like 
Let's go. Mm -mm. You know you're gonna <laughs> be cooking tonight. Then you have this really big window looking out to the woods with again some cool touches of bees. Another really cool thing about the house, probably I think it's my favorite, is these are the light switches. So you go boop. These I definitely would like. Yeah, those are the coolest yeah. light switches I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and you have this really cool light fixture with some really different types of light bulbs, which are probably expensive. Here we come to like the eating area. Sit here. We're gonna have our dinner here probably. You can look out the window. And you also have oh, oh. you also have a light here. Very good. <laughs> I'm good. Just like these little touches like my name, welcome Adam. It's my name because your name is too long for this. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't fit. Here. It wouldn't fit. It does come with air conditioning, which is important for me. We have this cool door here. It's kind of like a barn door where you open it. You like this. It has another table for us to have breakfast or dinner. And this is the main part, the tree. This is what sustains the house. Yep. Holding all of the weight. This. Part of <laughs> oh, part of it. Then we have the bathroom with this barn door and pretty stained glass. Here we have a composting toilet. So that means you sit and you do number one and number two, men and women. After number two, you turn three times and you use some vinegar. And you have a pretty view. When it comes to the final touch, this is the best. <laughs> it is pressed. I don't even want to use this. So if it happens, I'm going to have to use this one. <laughs> I can't do that. That's too pretty. I didn't notice this until Bernardo just said it like a second ago. This is like a honeycomb. <laughs> I didn't see that. Before we keep going with the tour, we want to thank Exter for continuing to support our videos and for my all-time favorite wallet. Because of the simplistic design and lightweight, it goes easy with our on-the-go lifestyle. We never have to struggle to get the wallet out of our pockets or to look for the card that we want. With a push of a button, it fans out our card like a switchblade and it makes it easier for us to choose which card we want. A pretty interesting feature is this credit card size tracker card that allows you to locate your wallet if you ever lose it. You just download the mobile app, link it to the card, and it's ready to get lost. While the product looks, feels, and even smells like natural leather, it's actually vegan recycled leather made from car windshield. You can trust us and the other 25,000 people who have given these wallets a five-star rating. Get up to 25% off site-wide by going to www.shop.exter.com steps and check out what we got my dad for his Father's Day present. Oh. And your cards go up. Goes up like that. that yeah, it's so you can keep really, everything organized. That is really nice. This is a two-story tree house, which is nice because if I need some time away from Anna, be there. Then I got the stairs. Cool little touch here. Drawing of the tree castle. Up here we have lots of windows, which brings some natural lighting to the bedroom. <gasps> this is our bed. We can even see the beehive here. A fan that Adam's gonna point to his face. <laughs> And on high, we can move here. Yeah. We can ask him, can we move here? Go back down. The shower area is actually separated from the tree house. We have some lights here that are powered by a little solar panel, a nice mirror. We have this beautiful waterfall shower here. This is the best part. This Beautiful bathtub. Have these little windows. You get a view from the woods. That's it's nice. Open. It's it's open. Roof. You get to hear the birds. In the bathtub, you can just look up at the trees. If you need some privacy, just close this. Yeah. If he needs privacy, here. yeah. Who's gonna be in those woods? That'd be a little <laughs> creepy. A black bear. <laughs> I think everything that we've 
always said that we've wanted these little lights Can the I windows hear? like in portland with the little black curtain yeah. the frogs the sky the stars no one no voices just just crickets, frogs, and us. <laughs> Don't get too used to it. Let's do it. Adam is cooking his famous orange chicken. Yeah. Well, it's famous for me. This was the first meal I really learned how to cook after getting out of rehab. And it's one of my favorite dishes. And every time I ask him to cook it, he it really cooks it. Ready? It's done. You got the cheese. Looks really good. Mm. You can really taste the orange. I added orange juice this time. Oh, you did? Yeah. I wish you were here to have some. I won't put the recipe because it's my secret. <laughs> I'm sorry. Orange juice is the secret, so. <laughs> Along with many other things. Why didn't we do this for our quarantine project? So people use their time much better than others. <laughs> We're not used to doing this type of car yet. We're not. We were just <laughs> trying to get by. Obviously, we weren't thinking about building a tree house. Ooh, it's pulling right here. Hello, boy. <laughs> Another pandemic comes, here we come, treehouse. We don't go cuckoo. Again. That's you. That's you, sweetie. You went <laughs> cuckoo. You went off the deep end. Zero to ten. Ten being the best. Eleven. I think this one was like the best one. You're just trying to be sweet. No, it's really good. The presentation could use a little work. I'm just talking about the flavor. The presentation, me. that's... I give it a six. Hey guys, time to go. Yep, gonna head back on the road. We don't know where we're going next. We'll be driving and hopefully we'll find a place to sleep tonight. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. See you. All right, bye-bye.